Hi, my name is Dan, and uh, this video is one in a short series of videos about vectors in Unreal, and it seems an appropriate time to talk about the transform. So, um, the, you've probably seen it over on this side over here. Um, close, there we are. Uh, this is a bunch of information which relates to the uh, location, orientation, and size of objects in your world. So if we click on the player character there, we see the location. We've got X, Y, and Z for the location. We've got rotation, X, Y, and Z. And um, if we press the E key, we're able to change rotations here. So these rotations are... Um, um, these are in terms of around the axis. So... Uh, the blue here, which is the Z, is rotating around the Z-axis. The Z-axis is the straight-up axis. Uh, the X-axis is uh, the, the pointing forward axis. Um, and so we can rotate that way. And then the, finally the Y-axis is the one that points to the side. Um, and... These are sometimes uh, termed in the sort of terms that you'd use in aviation. Uh, so this is the pitch, which is how far up or down you're pointing. Um, pitch is, if you, you remember it, if you, um, if you fell over forwards, you would be pitching as you pitch forwards. Um, and then uh, roll is to go side to side uh, like this. So that's um, that roll, and then the last one is yaw, which is a bit of a long word. That's the, the the rotation that we most often use as people when we're walking around. So they're all set back to so, and then there's uh, the final bit of information is scale here. So if we um, uh, click on our objects, we get the individual scale widgets there that we can use. And this uh, means scaling in the uh, in the blue is in the z direction, so it's along the axes um, relative to the player, of course, rather than relative to the world axes. Each object has its own local axis in the world. Okay, so this collection of information altogether is called the transform, and the reason for that naming is deep in the maths that's behind the um, uh, behind the 3D graphics that's going on here. Um, and it's uh, to do with things called matrices, which act on vectors. Um, and a, a transform is something that affects a transformation. So uh, it's the tool with which you transform something. And the emphasis there is different. You use a transform to trans... Uh, Try that again. Use a transform to transform something. Okay, so we're we're going to uh, expand on this information a bit and show how this relates to vectors. Because at the moment, when we've just got it over here on the on the right hand side, we've just got these nine values. But when we start using them in Blueprint, we get into the area of vectors. So I'm just going to open up the third person character, um, and I'm going to put a uh, a uh, sneaky little weird uh, bit of script in. I'm just going to get actor transform. So that gets the whole thing. And a transform as an entity in Unreal is represented with this orange color. Uh, it can be a single variable. And, and when you set up variables, that's one of the types of variables you can create. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag off the jump just to give us an easy way of triggering something. And uh, print string. I'm just going to plug that into there and it will do a, a, a translation for us. And then when we jump, it will display the transform of the plug and move about a bit. Jump. So that gives us nine values. Um, and just to be slightly confusing, um, Unreal does seem to have this habit of using several names for the same thing at different times. Um, it calls the location a translation. 
company. Now, this is actually the mathematical term for that part of the transform. Uh, so they are correct in doing that. Um, but it might have been better just to call out the location because it's exactly the same numbers. Uh, keep doing things so as we can show this. Then we've got rotation, we've got P, which is the pitch, Y is the yaw, and uh, R is the roll. And because of the way that this uh, character has been controlled, the, the only thing that I'm actually being able to change here is the yaw, which is my, the way that I'm facing. Um, and then finally, we've got the scale, which is something, that obviously, that I can't actually change live with the standard controls. Uh, you might have a game in which you allow this to be changed, and that's absolutely fine. Um, so that's uh, allowing us to view the transform as a whole. Let's get back into that script and pick this apart a bit. Uh, so uh, if we do break transform, so this is similar to when you do break vector. Um, but it, Obviously breaks the transform apart, and it breaks it apart into the three separate things that you might want to deal with, which are the location, the rotation, and the scale. And you'll notice here that the location is the vector, and that's as we've seen in the past. Um, and uh, the scale is a vector, which is reasonable because it's got three numbers. Um, but the rotation uh, also has three numbers, but it's blue. And it's not thought of as a vector inside Unreal, so that's slightly different. Let's just pull off that rotation and get that being displayed. Um, so now we've just got the rotation, and we're just getting the same values that we have, the P, the pitch, the Y, and the roll uh, values. Coming off there. go back in here. Um, I want to spend a little bit more time on the rotation because rotations are odd and uh, a little bit weird. So if we do break rotation, uh, we have a couple of options here. Break rotation into axes and break rotator. And what we'll do is we'll break rotator. Um, and this gives us the X, the Y, and the Z, which are the roll, the pitch, and the yaw. Now, it doesn't display them in the same order when we dragged off here and went into there. It did pitch, then yaw, then roll, which seems a little bit odd. But these are floating point numbers that come out of here. Um, and this describes how much of each rotation you want to get the orientation of your object. There is something a little bit tricky about using these three values. Um, and you can... Uh, similarly, use these three to make rotators. So, rotator. So, the is named location, but the type is a rotator. There we go. Um, and we could mix those up and, and put that in. But so you can make a rotator from X, Y, and Z. And obviously, you've got the the pitch, the X, Y, and Z, which represent the roll pitch in your in that order in your. Um, Details over here. Uh, so that's the X, Y, and Z. It would have been helpful if they'd actually put something about the this being uh, the your pitch and roll and which one's which over there, but they have chose not to do that. Um, but there is another way you will notice to break down the rotator. Actually, before I talk about that, I'm going to talk about the problems with using X, Y, and Z, which I kind of hinted at which is that when you apply these to make the orientation of an object, you need to do them one at a time. And the order in which you do them has an effect on the final outcome. Uh, I don't know intrinsically which order it, uh, Unreal does these three things in, uh, but this is possibly the cause sometimes if you've been trying to do rotations and things haven't worked out quite as you've expected. So there is, uh, as I said, another way of breaking this down, uh, which is to make uh, rotate it into axes. Okay, it's the plural of axis. It's not the plural of ax, which is something that you use to chop wood with. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show those three things coming out. Now you see there's a yellow, and that indicates that these are actually vectors rather than floating point numbers. 
we've got an x vector and a y vector. Oops, wrong bit. And a z vector. Uh, and what we're going to do is go and have a quick look at those vectors, and then I'll come back and you know and explain what it is that they are and what's what's going on. Uh, so, click play. Once again, when I jump. So the first, uh, I remember they're going in reverse order. So the first one is x equals uh, 5, 8, 3, y equals 3, 0, 4, z equals 0. Uh, the second one is, uh, that's interesting because the x and the y are opposite. So they swap around. So x equals 3, 0, 4, y equals 0 0.9, sorry, 0 0.3 of L, y equals 0.953, z equals 0. In fact, z equals minus zero in this situation. And finally, the third one is x is y, sorry, x is zero, y is zero, and z is zero. And that will always be the case with our character. Okay. And we find if we point in another direction, uh, we just stand still. We've got uh, those bottom two. x is minus 828, and then y is 0 0.5. Similarly, it's been uh, swapped over, except that the x now has a negative on it in the middle one. So x is minus 0 0.56, while y equals 0.828. Um, and I, I'm going to stop the, the game here and talk about what is going on, because it's easy to show it in the editor. So actually what it's doing is, if you see these... Uh, uh, on the on the move tool, these widgets here. We've got the red, the blue, and the and the green. And this is the effectively the local x-axis for the object the character. This is the local y-axis, and this is the local z object uh, z-axis. And what those three vectors are are the vectors of the that indicate the directions of these three axes, local axes. So if I move that character around, it, and then uh, press W to get those. Um, actually, the uh, the widget stays aligned to uh, to the world, but forwards is now for the for the local axis is now kind of out along this blue arrow that the light blue arrow that you've got so those three vectors give you a forward vector which is the x vector a right hand sideways vector which is the the y vector and an upwards vector which is a z vector and you can perfectly describe the orientation of an object using those three vectors so if you have access to those um, and you have uh, your scripts are working in terms of uh, those vectors and you want to set the orientation of an object using those three vectors. So it's a, it's a, a forward vector, sometimes called a facing vector, um, a y-axis, local y-axis vector, sometimes called a side vector, and the local z-axis, sometimes called an up vector. Um, and um, as I see, if I put make rotator in make rotator, then you've got an option there, uh, which is the standard make rotator, which gives you the, does it from the X, Y, and Z. Uh, but you've also got uh, make rotation from axes. Again, it's being inconsistent. It should say rotator because that's the type of thing. Um, and there's some other options here. Um, you'll see there's actually quite a lot of them. So you can make a rotator from partial sets of information. So from an X and a Y, from a, a Z. And these are, um, <coughs> let's just bring one of these up. These are, again, vectors. So you have the partial amount of information from these full three vectors. There's another one here. I don't know if you saw. Um, make rotator. From axis and angle. So this is quite a tricky one to use. I don't think I've ever used this in anger. Um, but 
uh, in this situation, you can provide an arbitrary axis. So this is not aligned with the X, Y, and Z of the world, um, but it, you give a value in X, Y, and Z. So that's actually, again, a vector. And you give an angle, which is the amount of rotation around that specific axis. Uh, and again, you can use that for uh, giving you a rotator if you want. So the final bit of information here is much less interesting, which is the scale, uh, which is just the amount of scale that you've got in the uh, X, Y, and Z uh, dimensions. And this is uh, local to the object. So if the object moves around, uh, so for example, if it's got a, if it's been shrunk in the X direction, and it moves around, that doesn't stay aligned to the axis, it moves with the player. Okay. So you're obviously able to, I haven't shown you a, a make transform, but you can. Uh, transform. Which is there. There's another one which is make relative transform, which I have uh, had trouble with in the past, so I'm not going to dwell. Um, so this is obviously taking these three elements and putting them back together. You've got a location vector, you've got a rotation rotator, and you've got a, a scale vector. Uh, and you can have a transform there. And if you wanted to, you can set vector transform. There you go. So that's a whole lot of stuff about that thing called the transform. We haven't really done very much active here, but hopefully it'll give you some more understanding. And that's it from me for now.